<laughs> Hello and how are you? Hey friends, well, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. I was going to go live tonight, but uh, I don't know how to do it yet, and it's too late in the night time for me to go ahead and do that. Today is Wednesday, November the 20th, 2019, which means I've got some happy birthday shout-outs going out to Tracy Hughes. Uh, Chambers, Davidson, fr- and, uh, well, I just got one, I guess, Tracy Hughes, Chambers, Dam- Davidson, and so, without further ado, here is a happy birthday song for you. I say, hey, I heard it's your birthday today, so, Tracy, happy birthday, I'm gonna say, you know, you made it one more year today, so, happy birthday to you, I say, I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. You know, Tracy, you made it one more year today. So, happy birthday to you today. And with me more. cha 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 ya All right, hey, hey, hey. That being said, let's see. We got some uh, likes on the old videos. We got uh, from... Uh, well, uh, yesterday I was try- I was singing that song a little to Mambo Number no. Five, and I mentioned Tina. I meant to be saying Tina Abishon, Abishon, sorry, Tina Abishon, not uh, Orfman. And so, anyway, Tina, Tina Abishon was who I was he- he- Abishon was who I was headed for. Anyway, I got um, some likes on the page from friends who uh, from the Shen Show. And uh, so those likes came from Cindy Welch and Pete McElhaney. And I had my mother share the love. That's right. She gave me the heart symbol. My mom, Mary Ann Briscoe. So I do appreciate that that kind of information. I surely do. Um, and so that stuff's always important to me. And I'm glad that you guys are out here and doing that because... Uh, well, hey, you know, if it's not for you, I just am out here for nothing. There ain't no reason for the summertime blues. Of course, there ain't no summertime blues. It's too cold. Cold, speaking of cold, let's give you a weather update. Let's see. We got 55 degrees right here in St. Charles, Missouri at uh, 8 p.m. Oh, my goodness. 8.16 p.m., that is. 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Jeez, that's cold to me and you. Uh, but we are going to go with our local weather uh, five-day forecast where wherever it's at. It says 10-day, but um, here. Uh, da, 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 dee, dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Oh, I don't want that one. I, I've been hitting that one lately. That's not the one I want. been hitting the wrong one lately, so... All right, we'll do this one here. Local weather. Here we go. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Again, again, I got the wrong. I got the wrong one. Here, I want this one down here below, the one below. Yes, it's a 10-day forecast. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay, not going to give you no 10 days, but I am going to give you a couple of days. Uh, like for tonight, we've got uh, cloudy with occasional rain later on tonight. Low winds around, or low temperatures around 53 degrees. Winds at south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain 90%. Rainfall around a quarter of an inch. And then for tomorrow's forecast, Thursday, November 21st, rain showers early with mostly cloudy conditions. Later in the day, high temperatures around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chances of rain are about 40%. Higher winds gusts are possible. Mostly cloudy skies throughout the night. Lows around 35 degrees Fahrenheit, winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 
Then, for Friday, November 22nd, intervals of clouds and sunshine in the morning, with more clouds for the late in the day. Highs around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then Friday night, rain showers early with mixes of snow later on. Uh, lows are going to be around 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds light and variable. Chances of precipitation 50%. So we'll get a little rain and a little bit of snow, but uh, the temperatures aren't going to be cold enough to keep it frozen. So we'll be all right there. Saturday, November 23rd, um, cloudy skies, yep, highs around 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then clear skies overnight with lows 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, let's see, we'll give you Sunday too, just in case. If you're headed out to church, it's going to be partly cloudy. Um, highs around 53 degrees Fahrenheit, winds west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Sunday night, partly cloudy skies, lows near 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, there you have it. That's about seven days, I believe. And we'll just go from there. All righty. All righty then. Uh, Christmas traditions. That's right. Christmas traditions are going to be starting up uh, here in November uh, on the 29th. That's right. The November 29th through December 25th. That's right. Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Opening day will be November 29th from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesdays will be open from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sundays, noon to 5 p.m. For 45 seasons, St. Charles Chris Christmas Traditions has helped create cherished holiday experiences for the young and young at heart. With the unique blend of history, storytelling, and fairy tale whimsy, Visitors from around the globe have been transported back in time to an era of yuletide nostalgia and fantasy, where reindeer fly, dapper carolers put, on, put a song in your heart, and the concerns of the modern world melt away, along, uh, allowing you to experience the enchantment of the holiday season like a kid again. As we celebrate the milestones of our Sapphire anniversary, we will uh, we also commemorate the 250th anniversary of the founding founding of the city of St. Charles. As you explore the festival, yep, the festive entertainment, characters, and music of Christmas traditions, we encourage you to explore the vintage beauty of the historic district decorated in its Victorian holiday finery. We're old world where old world charm meets world class shopping and dining. Weather the festival is a part of your family's annual tradition, or if this is your first visit, we invite you to be a part of our legacy. Where for nearly half a century, we have welcomed people to discover their inner child, discovering the wonder and discover why St. Charles is the place where Christmas past comes to life. Yes, sir, there are going to be free events throughout the whole procession of the... Uh, uh, Christmas traditions, that's right, St. Charles Christmas traditions. The free events are going to be, oh, let's see, holiday storytelling, that's right, holiday storytelling. Uh, December 10th at uh, 7 p.m., Santa Clauses from around the world are going to be uh, showing up, and then don't miss out your Opportunity to celebrate mid-year trivia. That's right, mid-year trivia. 
And then the uh, final huzzah. Um, and this uh, fun is happening all along. St. Charles Christmas Traditions. All right. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. It just kind of jumped out at me. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Do, 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 do. Bop, bop, bop. Do, do, do. Bop, bop, do, bop, bop. It's a free event. Opening day ceremony. Opening day ceremony will be, uh, uh, that'll be the day Santa Claus comes to town. That's right. Santa Claus will be arriving in uh, St. Charles, Missouri, and they will start at the gazebo at Kisker Park at the 400 block of South Main, where they will be planting the last, or placing the last piece of the, uh, um, greenery. And the tree lighting ceremony will be at 5 p.m. Then Brothel Square corner of South Main Street and First Capitol Drive join the Cobblestone Moistlers for the annual lighting of the St. Charles official Christmas tree. While you are there, take the chill off the evening air with a complimentary cup of piping hot of Vaisel. Vaisel? Vaisel. Santa's Parade will be opening day, Saturday and Sunday at 1.30 p.m. The parade route runs at 100 South Main Street to the parking lot of the Tourism Center, corner of First Capitol and Riverside Drive. Weekends during the festival offer visitors a special holiday treat as Christmas Tradition's famous Santa Parade brings pomp and pageantry to the historic district. Marvel at the spectacular Marvel at the spectacle as all of your favorite legendary Christmas figures march right down the middle of Main Street. Delight at the antics of our playful storybook characters. Relive, uh, revive in the sounds of Christmas music. Sorry, gotta get a drink of water. Christmas music through the years provided by the carolers and witness the fanfare as an international delegation of global gift givers per process while carrying the flags of their native countries. The parade culminates with an appearance of the big man himself, Santa and Mrs. Claus, who arrive via a horse-drawn carriage. Follow the procession from the 1000 block of South Main Street to the 200 block of South Main Street, where behind the visitor center at 230 South Main Street, you can experience the holiday talent hoopla and watch several of the Christmas legends showcase their special skills in a talent show unlike any other you have ever seen before. Ventriloquism, interpretive dance, stand-up comedy, mind reading. You never know what to expect in this unique competition. Alrighty then, that being said, there's going to be a quite a bit of other things going on also, but we can't uh, do well on all these things, can we? Looks like I've been into it for a whole 13 minutes. Well, hey, yup, I sure have. Let's see. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, um. Let's see. What are we going? What are we going? What are we going to do? Could talk about Santa's cottage. That's right. Santa is excited to meet with visitors during the following hours. Open day Friday, November 29th from noon to 5 p.m. Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sundays from noon to 5 p.m. And Christmas Eve from 11 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. Please note that Santa's Cottage will be closed between 1.15 and 2.30 p.m. on opening day. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays during the festival so that Santa can join his friends in the Santa Parade. That'll all be located at the Katy Depot 
where you can get a photo of your child on Santa's lap. That's right. High-quality professional photos with Santa are available to help remember your visit. A variety of photo packages are available and can be purchased with either cash or credit card. The historic Katy Depot in Frontier Park has been a St. Charles landmark since it opened in 1893. But no, not many people know that during the holiday season, Santa uses it as a special workshop outpost. As he counts down the, to Christmas Eve, Mrs. Claus wants to let you in on the secrets as he welcomes you to become an honorary elf. Yes, as you explore the workshop, get a glimpse of his busy mailroom and witness the majestic Reindeer Hall of Fame, where you can learn something of the stories of Santa's lesson, lesser known reindeer. You know, the ones that did not have a red nose. That's right. Anyway, ha, da, 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 de, and then you can meet with Santa in his parlor, where you can share Christmas wish list, and then take a photo, and maybe even sneak a peek of the famous naughty or nice list. There we go. And then, oh, Christmas tree, the evolution of an icon. That's right. Got the Katie Depot. Perhaps no image is as associated with the holiday season as the Christmas tree. For centuries, these festive evergreens have not only provided a fitting place for Santa to, to deposit gifts, but have stood as a global symbol for the hope and meaning of Christmas. So, anyway, that being said, let's see. Let's cut to the daily bread. Okay? Okay. Today's... Uh, Devotion is all about an older lady who was at the church who um, the light of Jesus Christ shined through her every day. She was older, but she wasn't. She was um, very um, young at heart, and her body didn't act as if it was ever going to give out. And yet, all of a sudden, she had passed. But just before she had passed, she had been completing a 16-week course uh, that focused on taking the message to, of Jesus to the people of the world. So therefore, it was a very unexpected death. Well, what we learned from her during that point in time of her life was we never know. We never know when we're going to go. And well... If we can, and if we've got the opportunity, we need to spread the gospel to whomever we can, when we can. Today's uh, scripture insight is going to be Psalms 92, 12 through 15. And so, uh, that's what we'll be reading today. Psalm 92, uh, 12 through 15. And that'll be in the NIV Bible. And so here we go. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree, and they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, and they will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. And there you have it, that there would be your daily bread for the day, plus the uh, scripture, Psalms 92, 12 through 15. All righty then. That being said... Uh, Nobody has given me any requests for um, songs, uh, and so therefore I haven't sang anything. Uh, anybody ever going to give me a request? When I get going live, I hope people give me a request. At least it'll be either uh, shut your mouth, quit singing, or that one was good, or I'd rather hear something more newer and upbeat. 
for the old junk that you used to sing, it was really good. What happened to that? Uh, anyway, my voice isn't as good as it used to be. Um, and I'm going to have to blame that on not smoking, which is a good thing that I quit. But um, for some reason, my voice has changed since then. I don't know why, whether it's less relaxed or more relaxed. Well, look, I took my medicine to uh, cut my muscle spasms about 45 minutes ago, and so therefore my muscle spasms are jumping in like gangbusters. <laughs> Anybody know why? Please tell me. All right, let's see. Where am I at? Oh, yeah, songs, music. Um, How about Sam Cook? We'll do some Sam Cook today, I think. Song lyrics, Sam Cook. You know, Sam Cook, uh, I like his uh, songs. And one of the songs I really like is, uh, well, I, I do like Send Me, You Send Me. So I will do that one. Darling, you send me. I know that you send me, darling, you send me, honest you do, honest you do, honest you do, whoa, ho, 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 you thrill me, I know that you, you, you thrill me, darling, you thrill me, honest you do. At first, I thought it was infatuation, but whoa, it's lasted so long, and now I find myself wanting to marry you and to hate you home. Whoa, whoa, you, 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 you send me. I know that you send me. I know that you send me. Honest, you do. While whatever I'm with you, I know, I know, I know when I'm I'm near you. Honest you do, honest you do, honest you do. Whoa, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know when you hold me. Whoa, whenever you kiss me. Honest you do, honest you do, honest you do. Whoa, whoa. At first I thought it was infatuation. But well, oh, at least did so long, and now I find myself wanting to marry you and take you home. Oh, I know, I know that you said me. Yes, I know that you said me. Honest, you do. Honest, you do. Honest, you do. Oh. Honest you do. Ah, there we go. I know, I know, I know. I know I like this one. It's not the, um, um, it's not the other one that I like. I mean, I, I like this one. I, I can do this one. Um, it's not the other one I was looking for, though, but that's okay. No one to walk with all by myself. No one to talk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. A miss for saving, saving my love for you. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting. It's just you I'm thinking of. A misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. I'm like Jack Horner in the corner. I don't got nowhere, but what do I care? Your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, I don't stay out late. No place to go. 
I'm home about eight, just me and my radio, I ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. No one to walk with, all by myself, no one to talk with, but I'm happy on the show, I ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. I know for certain, the one that I love, I'm through with flirting, it's just you I'm thinking of, ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. I'm like Jack Horner, in the corner, I don't know nowhere, what do I care, your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, I don't stay out late. That's not for me. I'm home about eight. Just quiet, looking at my TV. Ain't misbehaving. Saving my love for you. I ain't misbehaving. Saving my love for you. All right, all right, all right. Um, where is it? I got to find it. <laughs> oh, come on. What's the name of the thing? I don't even know the name of the song. I like it like that. The place, the place, the name of the place is I like it like that. But that's not the same name of the song I'm looking for. Baha, 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 baha. Uh, let's see. How does it go? First off. Let's see. Don't know much about art history. Don't know much about biography. All I do know is that I love you. What a wonderful world this could be. I think that would be the one. Okay, well, I'm not finding it this way. Well, there's Unchained Melody. I can do that. Normally, I remember it as the Righteous Brothers song, but I can do it this way. I can do it with him. Oh, my love, my darling, I hunger for your touch. A long, lonely time, time goes by so slowly, and time can do so much. Are you still mine? Oh, I need your love. I need your love. God speaks your love to me. Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea, to the open arms of the sea. Lonely rivers fly. Waiting for me, waiting for me, I'll be coming home, wait for me, oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch, I long, lonely time, time goes by so slowly, and time go, can't do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. I need your love. God speak your love to me. Okay, well, that's, uh, there it is, Wonderful World. It's a song I was looking for all along. I just so happen to stumble over a couple of other songs that I really like. Uh, let's get a little sip of the cider. What H2O that is. Water.
clear juice bubbling up out of the ground. It's a spring. Yeah. Don't know much about a history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. Don't know much about geography. Don't know much trigonometry. Don't know much about algebra. Don't know much about what a slide rule is for. But I do know that one and one is two. And if this one could be with you, what a wonderful world this would be. Now I don't claim, claim to be an A student, but I'm trying to be. For maybe by being an A student, baby, I can win your love for me. Oh, don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. A la da 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 history. Biology. A la da 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 science book. French I took. But I do know that one and one is two. And I know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. Yeah, da 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 love. Yeah, but I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. Oh, what a wonderful world this would be. Let me see if I can't find one more song. Um, it may or it may be out there. I do not know. It's called... Um, uh, let's see. Oh. Song lyrics, Desert Pete. Talking about the H2O. This here be your H2O song. I was traveling west of Buckskin on my way to a cattle run, across a little cactus desert under a hot and blistering sun. I was thirsty down to my toenails, stopped to rest me upon a stump. But I tell you, I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that water pump. I took it to be a mirage at first. It'll fool a thirsty man. And then I saw a note stuck there in an old baking powder can. This pump is old, the note began, but she works, so give her a try. And I put a new sucking washer in her, so you might find the leather dry. You've got to prime the pump, you must have faith and believe. You've got to give of yourself, for you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold, wash your face, cool your feet, leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. Yeah, you'll have to prime the pump, work that handle like there's a fire. Under that rock, you'll find some water I left in a bitter jar. Now there's just enough to prime the pump, so don't you go a drinking first. You just pour it in and pump like mad, and buddy, you'll quench your thirst. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You must give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet, leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. Well, I found that jar, and I tell you, nothing was ever prettier to my eye. I was tempted strong to drink it, cause, well, that pump looked mighty dry. But the note went on, 
Have faith, my friend. There's water down below. You've got to give until you can get. And I'm one who ought to know. So I poured in the jar and I started to pump. And I heard that beautiful sound of water bubbling and splashing up out of that hole in the ground. Well, I took off my shoes and I drunk my fill and with that cold, refreshing treat. And I thanked the Lord and I thanked that pump and I thanked old Desert Pete. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You must give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert P. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert P. There's that cool refreshing treat of the H2O that I had spoke about prematurely. Actually, that was Kingston Trio done that. You know, I thought that it was written by... Um, I, I was thinking that it was written by a friend of mine, but maybe not. I was thinking that uh, that maybe Jimmy Deftwood wrote that, but I guess not. It was a Kingston Trio song. Anyway, hey, that does it for me. I'm going to have to sign on off of here, and I'm going to have to say, well... You know, thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show because, you know, without you, it wouldn't be worth doing. And I am going to say, may God bless you and keep you and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.